My name is Jeff Typhoon. I'm a student of Fountain School, SS1. I want to teach you about the introduction to number bases and convention of the stem to other bases. First, let me take you back to the Stone Age. Nobody, then nobody cared about numbers. All they did was just look at an animal, kill it and eat. They didn't check the distance it took them to get to the animals. But after some time, they found out that if one of them spots an animal, they couldn't tell the other ones how many they saw, so they decided to use finger representation. But the human hands has only 10 fingers, so they couldn't count more than 10. And so they started using tally marks and stone representation, but it was, the work, it was too much work at hand, because if you make a single mistake, you will start over and over again, and so they found out the more the number of stones and the tally, the more the objects they saw. Few years later, civilization began. People began to exchange. So it was hard for them to exchange goods. So they drew out 30 different shapes and assigned names and numbers to them for them to use to count. For example, if S is equals to 1, and J is equals to 4 and F is equals to 5 it will be that if you have 5 cards and somebody took 4 cards you have 1 card which is going to be represented as if you had F cards and somebody took J cards you will be left with S cards so this is how mathematics began and now it is connected. And then the time of the Egyptians came. The Egyptians used things in their everyday life. For example, one represented a road. So two roads represent two. Three roads represented three. And so until you get got to ten. But if you say you will draw ten rods, they felt it was too much. So they decided to use a horseshoe to represent them. And so this was how they counted. So a hundred is going to be a spiral like this. Then a thousand is going to be a flower. That like this. Four thousand. So if you are to write nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine, you will have to draw nine of the flowers. Nine spirals. Nine horseshoes and nine rows which is going to take a lot of space and time and then the romans came with their own method of counting i stands for one i i for two i i i for three i v for four v for five and so on your numbers kept on counting but for you to write 9999 it's going to take a long time for you to start writing i's and v's so then in the seventh century a mathematician named alcarisme invented the base 10 number of counting which was 0 to 10 and it was 0 to 9 and it was later released in the 12th century to Europe it was written as 0 1 2 3 Zero, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and then nine. So what well, zero meaning nothing. Zero was for nothing. It was said that these numbers represented angles. If no why does this symbol represent one and not any other angle? It was said because of its angles. So one has an angle, two has two angles, three has three angles, four has four angles, five has five angles. Six should have six angles. Seven should have seven angles. Eight should have eight angles. And then nine, nine angles. This is the normal counting system we use today from zero to nine. With these numbers, any other numbers, and from these numbers, other mathematicians found the other bases we use today. Like the base two number of counting, which is one one and zero and one. Base three, which has zero, one, two. Base four, which has zero, one, two, three. And so on until we get to base ten. Base 10 which has 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 9. So, the, the first base number base of counting is the base. Two, which has zero and one, and then base three, which is zero, one, two, base four, which has zero, one, two, three. And so on like that, then we get to this 10, which has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the best 10 number system of counting. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like. Now let's convert other bases like base two and base three. So base two will always occur like zero and one. So these are the numbers to, to, that are supposed to occur. So let's change 24 to this 2. two into, 24 into 2 is going to go 12 times remainder 0. So 2 again is going to go 6 times remainder 0. 2 again 3 times remainder 0. So again, it's going to go once. Remember one. So again, it's going to go zero times. Remember one. So to write it going up like this. So it's going to be one, one, zero, 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 base two. You see that there's only zeros and ones that are called here. Zeros and ones. So let's now solve base 3 base 3 in the 
is 3. Both of course is 0, 1, and 2. So these are the numbers we'll be expecting to see. So let's take chain 24. To be 3. 3 is 24 is going to go 8 times. I mean by 0. 3 into 8. 3 into 8 is going to go 2 times. I mean by 2. 3 again is cannot go in two ca three cannot go into two so we put zero here remember this two so we handle the same character of this need to be two three base three we say we have zero and two these are the two numbers that are called from this equation now i'm going to pause and call the mark to teach us on the addition and subtraction of number bases.